Okay. Let's make a bunch of timbered foundations. Um, that way we actually have something to put on the bottom. And timbered capital. I think we already have a couple of these. I probably need more than that now that I'm thinking about it. Whatever. Uh, it'll be for later. Okay. So let's do the uh, foundation blocks right here. Along this layer. Yeah. Definitely going to need more. Oops. Yeah. Definitely going to need a fair bit more. Oh, whoops. Didn't realize we actually converted over some of the flooring, too. Well, that's okay. Probably just going to only do the uh, foundation on this angle first. Okay, so that's... That's that. I don't know how conservative I want to be here. Because we're going to need more rocks if I'm going to... I'm going to need more rocks if I'm going to want to fill this in the rest of the way. All right, we'll go to the other side. Oops. I guess it doesn't matter so much if I break this. Okay, one more. There we go. Okay, now let's get in here and... Switch the walls up. I should probably also put in... I should have probably put in a scaffolding to begin with. Actually, no. We don't need to do any kind of scaffolding. However, we will extend the walls up at least uh, another tick or two. Because uh, if I'm going to be using cladding, we might as well make the most out of it. Let's see. How am I enjoying anti-birth? Uh, anti-birth is amazing. In fact, um, after I finish this restaurant, I think I'm going to go stop and go play it. <laughs> For people who have never heard of uh, Binding of Isaac Anti-Birth, it's, uh, well, the ex fan expansion for Binding of Isaac after or Rebirth. I don't know, whatever. I don't like talking about uh, games that are not in the same genre at the same time. But at this point, I'm more than willing to fill space because, pff, what am I doing right now? Okay, yeah, we're going to need windows on this. We'll do that later. All right. Temper cladding. Huh. I don't know if I made a restaurant or a fortress. Looks nice, though. We'll have to put the tops on. And get some better lights in here. And windows! Windows are very important. Okay, uh, so we made a room. What, do we, what else do we need to make this into a restaurant? Uh, barbecue Bistro. Probably uh, either that or we could do a bodybuilder bar. Bodybuilder bar might be a little bit easier. Because uh, I can go make a uh, beer barrel and a bar counter pretty quick. We'll start with that. Uh, I think also four chairs, but I think I have a bunch of those. Let's see. Is this better than Minecraft? And is it addicting? Uh, for me, it's pretty addicting. But I don't... It really depends. Like, Minecraft has its benefits, I will I will say. Uh, we're going to have to go kill some of those those red wizards. Personally, I like this L of a lot better than Minecraft. I, I never particularly enjoyed um, playing it comparatively, just because there was, it was, it was too open-ended. This this game has very good. Uh, this game does a very good job of like generally giving you directions, you know, where to go, what to do, stuff like that. And I've always really appreciated it. All right, I need to make a ton of chests. Can I make them here? No, I can't. Huh. There we are. I should probably just make all of them. Yeah, let's just make a comical amount of chests, because we're going to need more as we go along. But yeah, I am generally not exaggerating when I say this is my favorite game of... Oh, shoot. We should put, like, uh... We should make, like, an outdoor patio. In a bit. Anyway, uh, let's see. Well, we haven't done a really good job of clearing inventory yet. Let's grab this. Let's see. I wanted the bodybuilder's bar. Let's see. We could also make like a holy hostel, but I don't really want to do one of those. Um, 
Okay, so bar. Stone tables. Stools. Okay, I'm going to put that there. Uh, do we have any wooden walls? We either want to do wooden walls or hardwood tiles up. Okay, those look awful. Such a shame nobody ever lives here. All right, let's delete the uh, crumbly clod stone. This stuff is garbage. Got ash. Okay. Um. Got a bunch of barrels. Where's that beer barrel that I made? There it is. Also, I have to make a bath and some other things. Actually, you know what? Let's bust this up. We got all these barrels to deal with. There we go. That looks pretty sweet. Okay, what else did we... Oh, right. We need some variety of crockery. We need a meat feast. So I need a searing steak. Can I make one of those? The answer is... Shoot. All right. What else can I make? Salad plate. Fruit salad. Got to be able to make one of these. I can make bread. Wasn't there... Oh, shoot. Nope, there's no bread thing. A lot of these are going to be hard. I mean, I, the easiest thing would be to get the... Well, no. Don't we have plum berries nearby? Oh, yeah. I know where I can get a plum berry. Real quick. This void of... Well, whatever. Okay, here we go. Guess I'll get the sticks. We are kind of out of sticks anyway. Be interesting if I could turn this place into some kind of, like... Horrifying, um... Uh, turn, turn that place into some kind of horrifying, like, lava thing. Except for I don't think the monsters actually take damage from it. So I guess it's not really worth the effort. Okay. Uh, I can make fruit salad if I can get back to it. It'd be really nice if you could almost, like, flick on and off whether or not you want, uh, to be able to see stuff. Okay, salad plate. Now to find it. Because it might not be as hard as you think. Uh, salad, salad, plate. There it is. Eh. Ha! Didn't mean to break it like that. Right there is perfect. Okay, what else are we missing? Bodybuilder's bar. We need... We've got chairs. We've got decorative food. Alright, so I guess these stools might not count. Either that or... Actually, no. You know what? There's there's our answer. This room is simply too big. Well, that sucks. I think so. No, it's a room. What am I missing, then? Um. Oh, a chest. Duh. Haha, -ha, there we go. Okay, body bodybuilder's bar. There's no light in the room. Actually, fun fact. Uh, you don't need a light in the room if uh, if you've got a, uh, 
Now, honestly, I should probably have rotated this to the back and put this on the back. But yeah, there we go. You know what? Actually, I'm going to put the chest right there. That gives me some more room. And I should still be able to interact with this. Hey, you're not who I expected would show up. Well, uh, uh, I don't know. But yeah, the barbecue pit is actually ample light, hilariously enough. Anyway, let's go make some windows, and then I'll probably go back to um, fighting the arena. Uh, do I make... No, I'd probably make windows at you. Yes? Nope, I don't actually remember where to make a window. There it is. How many can I make? Bunches! Sure. I want a human resident, though. It's one of my biggest complaints right now. It's like, I want human residents to actually come and appreciate my town and do stuff. And instead, it's just, it's just monsters. It's just monsters. Do you want to put a window here? Yeah. There we go. I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna double up on windows. Yeah, that looks... that looks much nicer. Maybe I should triple up. The other thing is I could also space them out by one. I don't know. I kind of like tripling up there. It's got a nice look to it. Alright, let's do the same thing on the other side. Might as well have this room be mostly symmetrical. Destroy, fix, destroy, fix. It's an endless thing. Anyway, this will give me plenty of uh, wall blocks along the way here. Actually works out quite nicely. Alright, so one, two, window. There we go. Alright, so we've now built a room. What's wrong with this room? The problem is it doesn't tell me if I've actually built a bodybuilder's buffet. We've built a room, but what is Pravel? Okay, seriously, this is gonna bug me. What did I- what did I do? I need a pot? Don't think I need a pot. That's not a pot. Chest, barbecue, beer barrel, bar counter, four chairs, decorative room. Now, you don't need a room to complete it. I really hate some of this. Uh, like, I, I really dig this game and a lot of the stuff it does, but like, I really wish they hadn't made, um, I really wish they hadn't made uh, Terra Incognita as like, Weirdly opaque as they did. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna move you. Oh, it was a bodybuilder's bar. It was just called a room for reasons. Weird reasons. Okay. Uh, you know what? We're gonna put this back here. We've built a room. So yeah, there there's no distinction that is a bodybuilder's bar, period. It we just have to get lucky. 
having it call itself that. Which is really strange, honestly. But yeah, no, it looks like this game just doesn't care. Alright, so it functions now. I, I really wish there was just a giant point system for this entire island that I could refer to whenever I want to. Because, like, as much as I like this, it's just awkward. It works now, as far as I can tell. Um, but I, I wish it worked a little bit better. Okay, is there anything else I want to put in here? Ah, yeah, lighting. Let's, let's take out the lan lanterns. This seems like a good idea. So is there anything else we want to put in here? We got a silly amount of sacks. We've got like a ton of crockery. I guess I'll dump the crockery in here just because I'm not going to be using it in any other room. There we go. Okay, so we got a restaurant or a food thing or whatever. The lights do very little. I know, I, re I really wish this game did it that, like, depending on the number of lights you cram into a room, the, the more ambient light, like, you get. I'm missing a chest. Nope, got chests. I don't know, it's just weird. I've just accepted it. This did surprisingly little to clear up my inventory space issues, but that's okay. All right, uh, we've also got this. At some point, I'll mess around with the uh, the grass in the game. Anyway, uh, let's go back to Terra Gladiatoria. Oh no, I'm not. I'm not returning. We're doing a magic tussle. And I'm just going to, I'm just going to bash Mobile around. And wait for my music to come back, because turns out, totally just didn't feel like being here. Alright, time to get some food. Interesting point, by the way. The monsters spawn without end, so the, uh, the slower you are... The, uh... Wow, yeah, you are totally untouchable on top of this car. They really could not handle that for some reason. Okay, but yeah, this is a, actually a really good way of farming food. We're gonna need some chili peppers from things, but whatever. But, yeah, so what we're gonna do is just do this. I just wanted to do a round of something that wasn't what I was doing. Okay. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do this. And then we're gonna do Spike Land. I really wish there was like magical spikes in this game. Oh, that'd be so nice. Um, but then I'm going to make the little tower of dude with a door or something, I don't know. And then we're just gonna cover cover everything in spikes. Can I make a farm next? Uh yeah. Farms are kind of low priority right now because they don't automatically grow. If, um... Move out the windows, one each. Columns between and then hang on the lamps. Huh. I could consider doing that, yeah. I'll think about it. I'll, I'll probably adjust as I go along. Ooh, we got ivy. Good stuff. Uh, let's see. Feathers, these. Oh, and finest fur. Oh, yeah, so we did fight one of those. All right, uh, items. Or, no, yes. Here we go. So I'm just gonna make a small little dude, ta dude tower here. Doesn't need to be much. Do I have, I have a door, right? Heck, a saloon door would probably be perfectly fine. All I need is something to stop the monsters from getting in while I hang out inside. Oh, even better. Actually, we can make a crappy cell door. Okay.
This is good stuff. Okay. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna open inventory. Okay, so I wanna I want a ladder. Okay, I'm just gonna make a, a small little dude tower. Doesn't need to be too tall. At some point, we're gonna probably run afoul of Gigantes as part of this. Then we're gonna need to make this uh, probably taller. Oops. Might also wanna add like parapets or something, I don't know. Anyway, um... Maybe I'll make it really tall. The only problem is, uh... If this ever breaks, we're going to have Prabble. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's see. Because, yeah, trying to, trying to demolish things from top to bottom not nah, is is time consuming how would i feel if people suddenly started worshiping me as a god i'd be really uncomfortable with that honestly i'd not i'd not be cool with the idea it'd just be weird you know in retrospect we didn't even need to uh, make this tower we just really needed to make a diving board platform and call it close enough all right Ah, ah. Ow. Crap. Should probably make a graveyard around here. Actually, no, the graveyard seems to work anyway. Okay. So let's let's do this so we don't fall to our death as much. I'll I'll make the top a little bit wider. Okay, here we go. I'll make it a little bit larger. Maybe I should have made the top a little bit less um, problematic. Well, durable? I don't know, whatever. Okay, and lastly, we want the... Um... You know, I wonder if a Gigantes could even hit up here. That's an interesting question. I don't have an answer for that. Okay, so I can build whatever I want. Right. I want... Um... Oh shoot, we missed a we missed a spot. There we go. Okay, spikes. Oh, I've been wanting to do this this entire game just a crazy crazy spike setup. And it never let me. It's like, here's the best weapon of the game. All right, we're taking it away for the the next you know, three chapters and it's like, no. Oh, I was so disappointed. All right, whatever. Okay, let's let's get cheesy up in here. So honestly, we don't even need that many spikes. Um, probably just, uh, I'm probably just going to triple layer, layer it out. The reason why we don't need too many is because the monsters are ju just all going to cluster up around here and die. The only problem is the, um, the magical entities are going to need to be killed manually. Uh, I might be able to figure out a better way of doing it, but eh, I'll figure it out. The other thing I want to do is actually expand this so it's got spring traps and stuff. That could be kind of fun. Alright. Uh, you know what? I'm going to make some more spikes. I'm going to make this look a little bit nicer. Because right now, it's uh, awkward and dumb looking. Uh, let's see. We need to... Probably can just do it with a regular forge. Spike traps. More. Yes. Oh, I'm so glad that we got all the good equipment already. Okay, so is this five deep? It's five deep. So one more layer here. There we go. Five deep. This thing is ominous. It's dark too. That's kind of the best part. It's kind of like this dark, shady area. 
underneath. Anyway, bloody tussle. So we're gonna we're gonna get up to the top. Oh, huh, interesting. It spawns me on the outside. Might want to move the door to this side or something. Anyway, let's hop in. And looks like skeletons. All right. So what? What would be a, like a really good parapet? A fortress wall actually looks kind of nice. Uh, we got castle crenellation. I just wanted something that was a little bit more like uh, half high. We don't really need too much, but it looks like we're kind of out of luck. All right. First and foremost, I'm gonna get rid of these barricades. They're dumb. Um. Yeah, let's use up let's use up these fortress blocks. Eh. I'll only make it one layer deep. Okay. I'll have to collect the extras. Oh. Guess we needed that extra one. Alright, fine. Oh sweet, these guys drop rocks. We need to, we need this stuff. Pretty bad actually. Alright, so we hop on. Yeah, this is a great way of getting rid of these resources. Love to see if I can actually make it ah. Make these myself. Anyway, I'm gonna blast that away for the time being. I'll just put it here. Um, yeah, I think this is perfect. Oh, interesting. Oh, what? I can't sit, sit my throne. Well, this is dumb. Oh, shoot, dude. Oh, crap. Flying enemies. That's a problem. I guess I'll have to... Alright, it's not foolproof. Never really was intended to be. Ooh, they're butter drackies. Oh, we're gonna have pancakes. Yeah, it looks like they can't uh, shoot the top either. Alright, so we're, we're gonna probably wanna get... Um, we're probably gonna wanna add some... Uh, some flaming things, maybe? <sighs> I'm gonna have to get some more, though. Yeah, the biggest problem here is, though, even if I did, uh, the, honestly, I don't think I'm gonna add the, uh, the flaming things. We'll just come down for a cleanup whenever we need to. Okay. I always take the long way around. Anyway. Um, yeah, I think my next, uh, crazy trap, uh, shenanigan here is probably to put a bunch of pusher traps here. Yeah, the fire-breathing statues are tempting. The issue with the fire-breathing statues ultimately would be, um... Uh, the issue with the fire-breathing statues would ultimately be... Ooh, you know what? Eh, no, you know what? I can totally take the Bashmobile off the top of this, can't I? Um, the fire-breathing statue, they only do a small amount of damage, and honestly, they're going to hurt me, too. I'd rather just uh, take the lazy way out and pop down with the Bashmobile whenever I need to actually take these guys out. Okay. Yeah, because I can make them, but it doesn't do anything. Oh, that's just a decoration. Good. Um, what was I going to do with this? Ah, right. Yes, yeah, so I need a Slimy Tussle ticket. Unfortunately, uh, we are going to slowly run out of tickets this way. Unless the higher difficulty ones actually give me two tickets. As a, um, as a reward. If that's the case, then this will be sustainable. Otherwise, we're going to have to figure out how to farm tickets somewhere. At least we're farming plenty of food. Okay, we're gonna need the Bashmobile for this. These guys won't stop spawning until we've killed the monsters. Yeah, the other option I could have is a bounce trap powered spike cannon nonsense. Ooh, shadow grass. 
You know, I, was, I think I was actually trying to... What? Oh, it teleported on me. That's not cool. There we go. I'll grab this. Griller pillars. Are these the... Yeah, these are the flame... Fire-breathing ones. The spikes of my front door are only four deep? Oh, yeah, they are. Alright, uh... Let's grab our spikes, I guess. Nah. What if they're... They'll live long enough. Nope. There we are. That's five deep. Yeah, we are getting some mad resources from... From the arena mode. Originally, I thought the arena was going to be, like, actually difficult, but instead this is just beautiful. <laughs> Propel is caught on at your school. <laughs> but yeah, they- wow, they dropped a lot of coal, too. Good stuff. Oh yeah, and we can probably make, uh, crab claws and some other goodies. Alright, so we got a blank ticket for our problems. We grab this. Okay, where's that- or is it? I really like Terra Gladiatoria. In fact, I think it's actually uh, quickly becoming one of my favorite parts of the game. It's just a fun way of getting resources. I almost kind of wish you could use Terra Gladiatoria um, outside of, like, during the main plot as a way of getting resources for other types of, um, for, like, other, what am I thinking? Uh... Like, say if you're in the in the second chapter and there's pretty much no, no, like, stone or anything like that. It'd be really cool if you could actually get your hands on, um, on a bunch of, like, rare resources uh, that you would normally be able to get in the chapter by doing Terra Gladiatoria. I would really enjoy that. Oh, they are actually starting to swing here at the table. Oh, it's because I was directly above them. So if I hang out right here... We're good to go. Alright, well, let's just hang out and wait. I want to see if we... Oh, there's three waves. Alright, guess we'll find out there. Okay, I'm going to do that one round of Binding of Isaac immediately after this. Now, if I stand directly here, hopefully these guys won't break my spikes. Ah, they might not break it anyway. Uh, they used to break spikes, but I guess because they're getting repelled by the, uh, the obsidian wall, their attacks are getting nullified completely. Also, we could totally do the Xenthium, uh, if we wanted to. Uh, we, we could totally do the Xenthium wall. Oh, I know what we can do to make this even better. Alright, uh, so next time we rebuild this, I'll, I'll clad the entire bottom in Xenthium. I don't think anything is going to be able to take that out. Um, then, we're going to have a layer of push traps and cannon traps. And if we're lucky, we should be able to hook them all up together. And have it that the enemies get pushed back and then shot. Maybe? I don't know if that'd actually be possible. No, it wouldn't be possible. Maybe there's like a sensor block. If not, we could always just have, uh, dig down to bedrock and just have a bunch of cannons surrounded by a Xenthium wall. Because I don't think magic cannons can destroy Xenthium. Interesting question. I don't know. Man, look at them all. Having a bad day down there. Oh, I just realized my, uh... Eh, probably doesn't sound so bad. I'll be right back while we wait for this to go, though. Yeah, I've got a, uh... Okay, so I just got one blank ticket. Yeah, oh, uh, that sucks. Okay, so this is not sustainable stuff. Oh, wait. Oh, wow, they drop a lot of fortress blocks. Dang. Wow. Alright. That's actually really nice. So yeah, we can, we can totally just use Terra Gladiatoria to farm as many resources we possibly could ever want. It's actually kind of amazing. Alright, let's do a new save though.
But yeah, that is a beautiful, that is a be beautiful tower. And the reason why I stepped away was because, uh, I've got a, I've got the heater in the same room as I am, and I've got a door covering it. But I forgot to close it the entire day, mainly because the heat never turned on. I think. I don't know, I wasn't paying too much attention. I wasn't recording much today. Wow, we got a lot of grass seeds and stuff. This is good. Oh, wait, no, we're back up to 11 blank tickets. So it does actually look like it is totally sustainable? I could be to I could be kind of wrong. I might be wrong, I don't know. Anyway, let's save. Okay, right. We already did save. Whatever, I'll save twice, just in case. <laughs> 